Hello everyone. Today, we will be reviewing Viper at Six Flags Darien Lake. Viper is a steel looping coaster built by the now defunct Aerodynamics. This is a coaster I hear almost no one talk about. However, this is a very enjoyable ride in my opinion. I have a soft spot for aero loopers because of the underrated forces that they offer. And Viper at Darien Lake is no exception. Viper begins with a dip out of the station, before going through a 180 degree right hand turn, before traveling up the ride's 121 foot tall lift hill. You will hear the sound of the beautiful aero anti-rollbacks as you travel up the lift hill. I rode Viper three times during my visit to Darien Lake. All of my rides were in the back car but I am almost certain that's the only place you'll get airtime on this ride. Upon cresting the lift hill, you enter a pre-drop, which makes a quick turn to the right before going down the 75-foot drop. Towards the back, you will get a great pop of ejector airtime as you get pulled down the drop. Now since this is an aero coaster, the transitions aren't exactly smooth, but I like it since it gives the ride character. You will hit the bottom of the first drop, which is actually somewhat high off the ground, the valley is jarring, but offers some good positive Gs. You will then travel through the first inversion, which is a vertical loop. This loop piles on the positive Gs and is possible to gray out here. You will then unnaturally bank and turn to the left before going through the Batwing. The entrance has some good snap, but it is a bit jarring. The valley of the Batwing is the most forceful part of the ride, and you are more than likely to gray out here. The exit of the Batwing also has some good jarring snap. You will then glide into the mid-course brake run. The transitions going into the mid-course brake run are funky and fun, and offer some laterals as you glide into the mid-course. You will then slow down to a crawl as you glide into the mid-course brake run. Just like Anaconda, the mid-course slowing you down will actually make the last two inversions interesting. You will drop down to the right and enter the ride's final inversions, a double corkscrew. Just like Anaconda, these corkscrews offer some weak hang time with some funky laterals. You will then go through the ride's final helix. This helix does not provide much force, but part of the helix is in a tunnel, which is pretty cool. You will then glide into the final brake run, ending the ride. Overall, Viper at Darien Lake is a charming classic steel looping coaster that I find a lot of fun. Like I said before, I have a soft spot for aero loopers. I would rate this coaster a 6.5 out of 10. And those are my thoughts on Viper at Six Flags Darien Lake. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.